everyone, Miss B. Hanley here, and today we are talking about The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. So in seventh grade, we are reading The Giver by Lois Lowry as a part of one of our classroom books. This book is a classic. It's, I feel like, been taught in most schools. It's a part of most school curriculum. I read it, I feel like, when I was in middle school, maybe. And I know I've taught this book several times when I've taught middle school. I've never taught this book when I've been a high school teacher, but most of what people tell me is they've either read it in elementary school or middle school. The Giver is about a young boy named Jonas, and he is a part of a community where everything is chosen for the people. People's spouses, their jobs, their homes, and even their children are chosen for them but it makes their lives very easy because everybody knows what they're going to do and is there's not a lot of surprises except when jonas has his ceremony of 12 which is when the children in the community turn the age of 12 and they are given their first job assignments in the community when everyone else is given their job at the ceremony of 12 jonas is skipped and he's given a special job at the end of the ceremony the job of the receiver. When Jonas becomes the receiver of memory, he works under a man known as the giver who gives memory to Jonas. Jonas starts to realize a lot of things about the community that he didn't fully understand or know before he took on this job. Because he's so young, he's a 12 year old, he you know, is receiving these memories of love and joy, but also of pain and sadness that caused him to have a lot of questions about his community, about why certain things or certain ways of life have happened in the community for a long period of time. This book is fabulous. It's so great. As a teacher, I completely appreciate why it's taught in schools. There's a lot of important messages in this book about history, about our past, about memory, about emotion, and about our community and our social interactions with others. It's a very short read, but it, and it's very simple in its language, but the concepts are very advanced and very philosophical. There are three other books involved in this series. It's not something that I feel like is advertised a lot when they teach the giver in schools, but the other three books do go along with what happens in the giver. Although at first it doesn't always seem like the series is connected. The next book in the series is Gathering Blue. And we do not follow Jonas's original story from The Giver. Instead, we are following a new character known as Kira. Kira has just lost her mother and now she lives alone. She is completely parentless and she lives alone in a community that is completely different from Jonas's. Whereas Jonas's community, the community decided everything for its people. In Kira's community, the people basically have to fend for themselves. And Kira is different from the rest of the people in her community. She was born with a twisted leg that causes her to not be able to walk as well as the other members of the community. When her disability is basically used against her or used as reasons to basically throw her out of the community, a council member who is a high ranking member of the community recognizes that Kira also has a special ability similar to the special ability that Jonas has in the first book. And he takes her in. We follow Kira as she learns more about her own community, just like Jonas did, but also about the people in it and why certain things are happening the way that they are. She recognizes that she has this magical ability and plans to use it to help her community become one where people are more accepting of each other. While I will say that going from the giver to gathering blue is a little jarring, at first it didn't really make me feel like I needed to read the rest of the series because I thought that because it followed a different character, it followed a new character, that the rest of the books would kind of follow on their own plots as well. However, I did finally read the other two books in the series, and I have to say that with The Giver and Gathering Blue as the first two in the series, it really, really helped me understand like the rest of the series and how it all works together. That is Gathering Blue by Lois Lowry, the second book in The Giver series. The third book in The Giver series is Messenger. Messenger follows one of the characters from Gathering Blue, not the main character, Kira, although she does appear in this book, but another side character that we meet in Gathering Blue. 
as they get older and go on their own journey to another new community. The main character in Messenger is known as Maddie. And Maddie grew up in Kira's community, actually, but he goes out and ventures into the forest to find out about new communities and learn about new communities. And he finds one where the leader of the community is Jonas. He's not known as Jonas in Messenger, he's just simply known as Leader. However, allusions to his past indicate that he is the Jonas from the first Giver book in the series. Messenger, I feel like, does a really good job of connecting the first two books and bringing the reader into this world where people have these special abilities that seem different from others as well as introducing a dark and sinister force that causes people to change themselves or trade away parts of themselves in order to get something that they want. Maddie in this book resists this dark force and is one of the driving forces against it. I really, really love Messenger just because the themes in the first two books do carry on in Messenger and the character of Maddie is honestly so lovable and fun that I don't see any reader being um, dry-eyed at the end of this book. The last book in the Giver series is Sun, and it is by far the longest book in the series. We go back to the original timeline of the Giver, but instead of following Jonas, we are instead following a different character in Jonas's community, but one who is indirectly related to him. Instead, we are following a girl named Claire who was assigned birth mother for her job in the community. At first, Claire isn't fully aware of what it means to be a birth mother, but as she goes through her first assignment as birth mother, she realizes the immense responsibility that she has as well as the intense emotions that go with her job as well. In the first few pages of the book, we learned that Claire has failed her first assignment as birth mother and is sent away to do a different job. However, Claire goes on a mission to find the son that she bore when she was a birth mother and try to get him back. Honestly, son was probably my favorite out of the whole series just because you got to see all of these interweaving narratives kind of come together at the end. And I really loved the character of Claire as this, you know, strong, independent girl who all she really wants is to just have that feeling of love again that she had when she first gave birth to her son. Super, super emotional, I will say. Be prepared with a set of tissues on the side because you will cry. It's a really intense book. All of the books are. But I will say that the whole series itself is this is how I read the four books in the series. It came like as like a box, like an omnibus set. However, you know, we do have separate copies for all the books if you wanted to read them separately. When I first read The Giver, I loved it. I loved the whole concept of it. I loved the character of Jonas and Giver. And I thought that the story was just totally fascinating and interesting. I did read the second one and then stopped reading the series after the second one at first because I just didn't understand how they connected. But recently reading the last two books and rereading the whole series as it as a whole really did help me understand how these stories connect and how they weave together. And upon my second reading of Gathering Blue, that's when it started to finally click for me how these two stories went together. And it did motivate me to, to read the rest of the series as well. And I'm so glad that I did because I absolutely love it. I was not expecting to like this series as much. I'm not personally. I haven't read that many series in my adult years as I did when I was younger, when I was a young adult and when I was a kid. And it's hard for me sometimes to pick up full long series of books just because I feel like sometimes it's not worth it. I've been through enough where I feel like I've been through enough series where I just am disappointed at the end and I, and I don't like it. But I have to say this series did not disappoint me. I was just begging for more at the end of each book. Even the last book, I was like, wow, I really wish there was another book in this series because I thought the whole world was really interesting. I loved all the characters. I thought that the magical kind of realism elements were really, really cool and how they were incorporated um, into the different communities and into the different people. All four books 
are really fantastic. Uh, and I totally, highly, highly recommend all of them. In class, we'll just be reading The Giver, the first book in the series. And you know what? It can work out on its own as a standalone book. You really don't need to read the sequel or the third or the fourth book to appreciate it, my personal feelings. However, if you are interested in learning more about what happens to Jonas at the end of The Giver, you're gonna have to read the second, third, and fourth books in the series in order to find out what happened. I hope you give this book a try and I hope you're interested in reading it. If you have read it, tell me what you think down in the comments. I personally loved it, but I'm always looking forward to hearing your thoughts and perspectives on stuff that we read. So please leave your thoughts down below if you read the series and if you liked it or if you didn't like it. That is The Giver series by Lois Lowry, all four books. The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in class. Bye!